Greetings, it's me, Dr. Paul Gerhardt, and today I want to talk about uh, how to get greater capacity as individuals and organizations uh, and being more effective in cross-cultural situations. And uh, the one thing that we need to keep in mind is how you see things affects what we do, which affects what we get. And that's the basic uh, comment about you know perception in general our perception is a reality and uh, we are all doing our best to make sure we're navigating uh, our worlds as we see them in the most effective way and a lot of our up you know, in our upbringing that's what shapes our perceptions of things and so that's the thing to keep in mind and when we go into uh, intercultural situations we just we have to assume that the other person will see things differently we need to treat things that way and that means we really need to be open to learning and gaining understanding of how the other person or other people are seeing things and we all see things differently because we're, we're no two people are exactly the same but it's uh, the similarities in uh, culture that help uh, people, you know, unite people because that, that gives them a framework of seeing things differently. So uh, if you want to be culture savvy, you really, I, I mean, we've been talking about it all quarter, is we have to be understanding. Uh, other people's cultures and before we do that we have to actually understand our own culture and so it may be a good idea to do things where you are creating a list of things that make up your own culture this can kind of help you understand um, who you are and where, where you're coming from you know I I think it's a great idea to, to think about your own background what did you grow up in you know what what kinds of things may have shaped the way that you see the world I know there are a lot of people who live in a, uh, a scarcity mentality for instance because they grew up with uh, you know parents living paycheck to paycheck and hardly able to feed their children and always making comments about we don't have money to waste milk uh, just drink what you need, you know, or we don't have enough to go to the end of the week, so save it. You know, those kinds of comments, those things shape the way that you see the world. And um, it's that way in every household, and it's that way in every uh, country. I, I've talked about growing up in the, in the cold world scene where um, we get a perception on, you know, living in fear that we could have a nuclear attack at any time and uh, that that has shaped my generation uh, we uh, as organizational leaders you really have to put diversity and diversity training as a priority one you need to make sure that your organizations are diverse if you want to uh, to maximize creativity and productivity that can come when you when you're synergizing uh, in a diverse organization and uh, you have to have proper training where people learn to uh, really appreciate the differences of others and, and you have to have a culture where you people want to learn more about other cultures. Now you have to think globally you know how how can our organization fit in in this in, in this whole world and what is it that's unique about us and what's same about us you know and those kinds of things put put your organization into context and then you build on that you know you build your own brands and you build a brand based on a very clear vision and then you're constantly communicating you know diversity is important you know valuing others is is important really learning to understand others is important um, you know and if you want to really understand other cultures you really have to learn um, a, another language and their language in particular that will help uh, put things into context you know traveling a lot uh, can help you uh, become more cultural savvy so uh, learning about yourself and being open to learning new 
uh, lessons and asking good questions in an inquisitive way and in a respectful way. These are the things that uh, will help you uh, become more culturally savvy and have as a leader and an employee or even as an organization uh, help you have more success. You, you've got to want to become more culturally savvy. You've got to be open to seeing things, new ways, and you've got to start by recognizing that you see things differently and the other person sees things differently and you cannot come into it with any assumptions, asking good questions, um, being, uh, creating a, an environment that is conducive to helping uh, communicate differences and to just wanting to learn and appreciate those differences that really will uh, help uh, create uh, situations where people manage uh, cultures uh, in a more effective way. And that really should be the, the goal. If you recognize that we can learn something from everybody and you want to and you want to understand the other person and people involved. Those are, the th those are the ways to win people over, earn respect, and maximize relationships. This is Dr. Paul Gerhardt signing out. Have a great day because you get to choose how you feel about it. Thanks so much for your time. Good day.